one micrometer or a tenth of one micrometer. Okay. So I have never been able to work with it, but this is what they claim. 12 hours later, okay, Leo is here. I know that I should be very desired, okay, but it's better to just move Leo like this song. Now Leo is here. Leo is here at the uh, east, now it's setting at the west. So now your experiment is throwing light in this, in the, you're throwing light here in the opposite direction, so you're increasing the weight. Here you're throwing light in the same direction of motion, so you're going to shrink the weight. Therefore, this angle is going to decrease, so here's y minus. So what this guy is like is a change of the position of the spot on this on the segmented diode from here to here, when either they wait 12 hours or when they rotate the experiment in eternity. And they get a value which they say is the square of relativity theory for by 20 months. I don't understand why they do that. You either are 100 percent against it or zero percent. They say 20 months. Anyway, <laughs> whatever, whatever uh, what is the explanation of this? That there's a doctor between at the emitter that is not cancelled by the screen. Why is not cancelled? Because the angle, once you produce an angle here, there's no way that this screen moving in this direction is going to cancel that angle. You can cancel the wavelength stretch, okay, by the opposite Doppler effect, but you, you cannot fix the whole area in between. You know, this is light, dark, light, dark, like that. In other words, the damage is done. <laughs> once you open or shrink the angle, you can, the detector cannot help it. You see? So it's like a unilateral effect of Doppler that translates into a change of angle. So this is beautiful. And they have done it in the year 2007. Okay, so this is a pretty, I mean, this is my theoretical justification of their experiment. They did experiment, I have no theory. I have the theory, but could not replicate this story. And those people don't want to talk to, to us, you know, right? Okay. And they didn't know the reason. We are, you know, we are outcast people. And they're from the established, very neat in Brazil, and they are very respectable, five Brazilian friends. Okay, so let's keep going on. Just uh, three final words about each of the departments. Uh, uh, they didn't know the story of these Brazilian people. Okay, so the discussions, let's go very fast. No doctor formula for the emission, the time interval between emission. So this is the effect of all formulas. The time difference is over Pick one. The classical formula, however, when it is too distinct independent velocity, V E, V D, allows us to think of the emission result as separate, distinct and independent events. Therefore, we discover that even without relative motion, the two relative velocities are equal. There's a wavelength shift in the space between E and D. Observable from a third frame, which is air. We don't even have to invoke the ether. It's just another observer, third frame. All this allows us to explain the shift of an absorption line, as we have seen, as a result of absorbing H added shrinking while the star periodically really stretch. In this way, the progressive 56 photons are absorbed in spite of their being stretched to 670 in between emission and absorption. I'm just repeating my conclusions. Keep going. Similarly, a light diffraction, this is the positive thing, a light diffraction pair can be predicted in which the doctor at the slits and its concomitant angle, saying, is not cancelled by the reception of the screen. This is the candidate to detect the absolute or positive motion of the Earth, and I didn't mention the president. I don't want to offend them by uh, saying that I justify the term. They will be offended if I do that. Okay, continue. Now, the relativity view. Can we say that relativity fails to explain the 670 shifted absolute line? That's a strong word. Eh? Relativity produces a typical <coughs> dual affirmation, namely, for an observer on the age of having an observer, there is no doctor, because there is no relative doctor. For an observer on Earth, there is a doctor shift. To explain the absorption, they use the first frame. To explain the shift, they use the second. So you are inconsistent.